Fanny Crosby was born in 1820. She became an American poet and hymn writer who was so prolific over the course of her life that it's believed she wrote over 3,000 hymns. Her vision for writing was beautiful and the clear picture of the gospel of Jesus was astounding. The way she looked at life was apparent in her writing and the way she lived for Jesus will continue to impact people for generations. Fanny Crosby was blind from infancy. She was blinded by a failed remedy meant to cure an eye infection. One tragedy gave way to another. Shortly after her accident, Fanny's father became ill and died. Fanny's mother hired a maid, and her grandmother Eunice taught Fanny to pray and read Bible stories to her. The Crosby family's landlady, Miss Holly, also played an important role in young Fanny's life. Miss Holly helped Fanny memorize the Bible, and it's said that she learned five chapters per week and had entire books committed to memory. In 1834, Fanny continued her education at the New York Institute for the Blind, where she later served as a teacher for 23 years. On March 5, 1858, Fanny married a fellow teaching professor and famous New York organist named Alexander Van Elstein. After she married, Fanny left the institute and dedicated her life to serving the poorest and the most needy and supported herself with the vocation of writing hymns. In 1859, Fanny gave birth to her only child, a daughter, Frances, who died in her sleep soon after birth. It is thought that her beloved hymn, Safe in the Arms of Jesus, was inspired by her daughter's death. She had an agreement with publishers Biglow and Maine to write three hymns a week for use in their Sunday school publications. Her fee was $2, which often went to her work with the poor. Fanny would frequently surpass her quota by writing up to six or seven hymns a day. Today, Fanny's hymns are still popular, including Blessed Assurance and To God Be the Glory. Although Fanny enjoyed success as a writer later in life, it was not always so. In 1874, Fanny was so broke she could not pay her rent and face an imminent eviction notice. As was common, Fanny began to pray and committed her situation to Jesus. A few minutes later, an unknown man approached her and handed her a $10 bill, the exact amount of money she needed for her rent. Later that night, Fanny wrote, All the way my Savior leads me, a hymn of dependence on God to provide for our needs. As both a songwriter and a woman of faith, Fanny Crosby is an example to us all of a life lived in dependence and faith in Jesus, despite adversity and disability. It's easy to consider her situation tragic and pity her, but this is not how Fanny saw it. Once a preacher asked her if she was upset that she had never been able to see, her answer was simply no. And when asked why, she replied, because when I get to heaven, the first face that shall ever gladden my sight will be that of my Savior. After a six-month illness, Fanny Crosby died on February 12, 1915. A large memorial stone marks her grave with the words of one of her most loved songs. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit, washed in his blood.